Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am gonna make a start on my July 2020 book haul. So as some of you guys know, I've been buying a lot of books online and then uh, I sell them on basically uh, for a profit. Uh, and quite often I've been doing this uh, for particular authors who I'm trying to read all of their back catalogue. So I've collected five Agatha Christie books today. Uh, we'll start with this one, which is the one I haven't read, which is Third Girl by Agatha Christie. Uh, I might even read this one next, I'm not sure. And then we have, these are all ones that I do have. Um, anything that I do have, and also actually most of my books after I read them go on my eBay store, so I'll link to that below. Um, but yeah, picked up Halloween Party, Death in the Clouds, Miss Marple's Final Cases, and The Murder at the Vicarage, which is, this is an incre incredible cover, look at that, love that. Hello, it is me. Uh, I guess this is wrap up and haul. The only book I have to haul here, and I already know what this is, this is Doctor No by Ian Fleming, uh, which is one of my favorite James Bond books. And for some reason, I realized I didn't have a, an edition of it for some reason. So I've had to buy another one to go in my collection, which is kind of funny, really, because um, I'm trying to downsize my collection. But yeah, this one was missing for whatever reason. Okay, I got uh, this in the post. This is another one I'm going to be reselling. Oh, look at that. It's nicely wrapped up. I almost don't want to unwrap it because I'm going to sell it anyway. I guess I'll unwrap it and then I can rewrap it before I post it. So, this is the first attempt at flipping a signed book. And I don't expect to make much profit because I've actually looked at how much these are worth, which isn't much. This is Binge by Tyler Oakley, signed by the author. Uh, there we go. I'm not a particular Tyler Oakley fan, but I think I paid like 99p plus postage with this. Um, and they spelled his name Taylor Oakley, so nobody could even see it. But yeah, I'll probably make a couple of quid on this. Actually, uh, I didn't think I was gonna win it, and I'm not particularly bothered that I did, but it's always nice to get a signed book in the post, even if I have no intention of reading it, you know? Hello, people of BookTube. Um, what have I got for you today? I've got lots of books for you today. That is what I've got. Um, I got, I think, 27 of these really stunning Folio Society editions of uh, William Shakespeare plays. So this one here is The Tempest. Um, why? It bothers me that. Look, why is it printed like that? So that if you read the title, the Tempest, right? <laughs> then the WS and the FS for the Folio Society and William Shakespeare are the wrong way around. Maybe you're supposed to, I don't know, to be honest, that's really confusing. Which way round is it? This way round. So yeah, the title is just upside down. I don't know why they've done that. That's a very strange design choice. But yeah, these are really beautiful editions. So here we have The Tempest by William Shakespeare. And uh, again, it's like fully illustrated. Um, even the like the text, the body text, looks beautiful. It's very cool. So um, I've got a whole heap of these, which oh shit, my page. So my my plan is to um, do, 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 read any of these that I haven't read, um, and then the whole lot pretty much I'll be selling on. But yeah, so we have the Tempest, Antony and Cleopatra. I mean, do, I, do you want me to take... I can't really take all of these out. It'll take a while. But yeah, because as well, they're all just sort of the block colours. Obviously, the insides are different. The art styles are different. Uh, Ex Libris, C.P. Robertson Dunn. With an introduction by Laurence Olivier. Very cool. We have Timon of Athens. The Merry Wives of Windsor. Pericles, Prince of Tyre. All's Well That Ends Well, I may have read, I can't remember. King John, King Henry V, Timon of Athens. Is that the same one twice? What? It is, I got the same one twice. Uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream, The Merchant of Venice, The Winter's Tale, Titus Andronicus, Coriolanus, Much Ado About Nothing. I think I've read Much Ado About Nothing. Uh, the Two Gentlemen of Verona, King Henry VI, Part 3, Part 2, and Part 1, and they actually come in this bigger box set here. King Richard III, King Henry IV, Part 1. Uh, As You Like It, The Tragedy of King Lear, Julius Caesar, Troilus and Cressida, The Two Gentlemen of Verona, and Cymbeline. 
So as I say, I'm going to read which ones I haven't read and uh, they'll all be being sold on as well. Uh, probably, well, I think, yeah, probably sort of $8.99, $7.99. Some of them start at, uh, some of them are worth a bit more. I'll see what, what the marketplace is saying. I've already opened it, so I can't do the that Todd the Librarian does. But Drunk Dane reporting in. Yeah. Um, I won some stuff on eBay. In fact, this might be the or one of the last times that I will be coming to you via the medium of iPhone because I've now got not one but two new cameras coming. Uh, Canon PowerShot G7X Mark IIs. So my old one was the Mark I. This is the Mark II. Um, I won them both for about 300 quid, but like they're going um, buy it now on eBay. Oh, it's 499.99. So I've got two of these coming for 300 quid. Um, they're both used. This one is actually new. So, you know, I'll probably list them for like 375 or something. Well, I'll list one because one I want to use. So I'll, I'll probably just always keep whichever one is like the shittiest one basically but anyway uh i've got a new camera coming in the meantime um i've had some books so i bid on some uh, ladybird books for adults and also some agatha christie ones so i'm going to show you these ones first which are my unread ones out of this little pile uh and then the next pile is going to be my red ones the ones i've read uh, i've just figured out somebody asked me uh, Diana and the books or Diana and her books sorry I can't remember a, spe a specific name but she asked me on Instagram how many Agatha Christie books have you read uh, 75 is the answer I'll probably get to about 95 because I'm I'm reading like English and American um like uh, mainly the short story collections they got published under different titles in the different regions um so there's like a lot of overlap which I've talked about before in my reviews where I'm like I've read this sh short story before or, and uh Normally I can't even remember where. Can I Biggie? No, I can't. I mean, oh, it's tough. It's a tough life. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You, you can't see this, but it's being adorable again. Hey, Biggie. Okay, so these are the ones I've got to read. So we'll start with the Ladybird books. So we have How It Works, The Dog. Do you like doggos, Biggie? Do you like doggos? Yeah, they're all right, I guess. Uh, the Ladybird Book of Dating. And the Ladybird Book of the Meeting. And then we've got these three Agatha Christie books, which now leaves me with nine that I haven't owned. So we've got The Mysterious Mr. Quinn, which reminds me of a Colin Dexter book. One of the Morse books was like The Silent World of Nicholas Quinn. Uh, about a deaf guy. It's actually worth reading. Um, here we have The Secret Adversary. And then They Came to Baghdad. So these are the ones. And basically I bought these collections. All three of these I bid on. I literally talked so much I ran out of space. I was just saying that I um, I bought all of these basically because I wanted the missing books in my collection. So the ones I can sell are kind of a bonus, I guess. So we have Agatha Christie, Murder in Mesopotamia. Uh, these are all Christie, so I'm not gonna say her name each time. Sleeping Murder. The Sitterford Mystery. The Mysterious Affair at Styles. Read this recently, good one. Her first as well. Poirot Investigates. Murder in Mesopotamia, another one, I guess. Why Didn't They Ask Evans? Endless Night. The ABC Murders. Three Act Tragedy. 450 from Paddington. And Death in the Clouds. I have just realised that because I filmed the whole bit while I was drunk, I forgot to list. I also got like six or so more of those Ladybird books, uh, the Ladybird books for adults. Um, but they're ones that I've already got, so they're just going straight on eBay. And I've now mixed them in with my general stock, so I can't remember which ones they were. Sorry about that, soz. Hello, I've got just one book to tell you about today. That is The Death of Expertise, The Campaign Against Established Knowledge and Why It Matters by Tom Nichols. And this is basically, you know about keyboard warriors who think they know everything. It's about that. Uh, I actually have a client who um, paid for me to get this, so I'm excited to read it to see what I make of it. Hello. You're never going to guess what I've got. You might guess what I've got. Ugh. It's a big box of books. I bought a bunch more um, used Agatha Christie books because I think... There are some more that are on my list in this. That's kind of my goal now. I'm trying to only bid on books um, 
where I can see at least one of them is on my list. The problem is, is sometimes you end up bidding on multiple things at a time and winning both, you know? So we'll see, we'll see what's in here. This is going to take forever. There's a lot. All right, these are all Agatha Christie. I, I will let you know which ones I haven't read. Okay, so we have The Mystery of the Blue Train, Evil Under the Sun, Sad Cypress, Murder in Mesopotamia, at Bertram's Hotel, Partners in Crime, Dead Man's Folly, The Murder on the Links. So, so far I've either, I either own or have read all of these. Elephants Can Remember, Lord Edgware Dies, there's got to be at least one, right? Peril at End House, Nemesis, Oh, okay. I'm excited. I'll show you about the... <laughs> okay, I'll show you why I'm excited. I can't actually say the title. Ten Little uh, Somethings by Agatha Christie. I sold one of these recently for ten ninety nine, And there's another one here. Ten Little... Uh... Basically, it's because if they've got this title, it's one of the really early editions. I mean, when was this published? Because obviously it's racist, you know? This is the second impression at 1964. But that's the Fontana second impression, actually. Which one's this one? 23rd impression, 1975. But I don't know. I guess maybe there are just racist people out there. I don't care. They pay me more money for the books. So. The Man in the Brown Suit. Hercule Poirot's Christmas. Death on the Nile. Come on. There's got to be at least one I haven't read. The Adventure of the Christmas Pudding. Cards on the table. We have a hardback of Endless Night. Appointment with Death. A pocket full of rye. Third Girl. I only just got this one. One to Buckle My Shoe. The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. N or M. Poirot Investigates. The Pale Horse, Halloween Party, Ordeal by Innocence, By the Pricking of My Thumbs, a torn version of At Bertram's Hotel, The Listerdale Mystery, I haven't got this one, this is one of the ten remaining ones that I didn't have, so it is also unfortunately falling apart, look, uh, so this one's I mean, this one's kind of unsellable. This one, I guess, I'll sell for very cheap. I don't know. The Hollow. And the Seven Dials Mystery. So yeah, out of all of those, there was one I haven't read. And it's the one that's in the worst condition as well, which is typical, isn't it? But um, yeah, it's good to tick another one off, I suppose. And... Um, as I say, there's profit in this because I didn't spend too much. What did I pay for all of those? That's £35.85 for the books and delivery. And there were 35 books. And as I say, I, I mean, I think there are at least two. The Both of the ten little N-words in there I can sell for 20 quid. Uh, based on previous performance, anyway. Hello, just the one book to uh, haul for you guys today. And that is The Other Passenger by Louise Candlish. And this is actually a signed edition as well. So I got this uh, as part of, I think it was called My Chronicle Book Box. Uh, well, I don't have it in front of me, so I'm just going to assume it was called My Chronicle Book Box. I did an unboxing of this, so I'll link to that below. But it's a crime thriller set on a boat on like a... Um, well, the theme of it was the commute, and this is set on the little um, boats that like go up and down the Thames, basically, like the little commuter boats. So it uh, looks really cool. Hello. I have a box of milk. Um, which is ironic because I don't drink it. <clears throat> oh, hello, it is double wrapped. It's like past the parcel. Why didn't they just post this? I think. Oh, well. So, these are four Isaac Asimov books um, that I got as a job lock on eBay. So, we have Isaac Asimov, Nemesis, Asimov, The Bicentennial Man, The Gods Themselves. 
and Fantastic Voyage 2, Destination Brain. So these are all going to go on my TBR. Alright, those are all the books that I got in the month of July. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments. Um, let me know if you've read any of these or if you want to do any buddy reads as well. Um, especially for a lot of these Christie's, a lot of the Shakespeare that I've got. Um, you know, I am just slowly working my way through it. But if, if you want to read any of the ones that I mentioned, hit me up and uh, we could potentially do a buddy read. And uh, yeah, also I'll link to my eBay below. Um, which is where Graham Sillers from Graham Sillers Reads Books spends all of his money. But um, he's, got good, he's got good taste in books, though. He's, he's bought some bargains, I think. So, Anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Comment and stuff. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.